Hello, welcome to our art demonstration today. My name is Miss Karen and I am going to show you how to create a glittery forest today that looks like this. I hope you were able to pick up your art to go bag in the children's department at Eckhart Public Library. It's part of our winter redo explore art program. We still have plenty of art supplies left so stop by or call for curbside delivery and we will make sure that you get your supplies needed to create some art at home. So today we are going to use the supplies in the art to go kit to create a glittery forest. You will find everything that you need except for two things. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you are going to need some water in order to complete this project. So the first step is to create your forest and the way that we create our forest is by using masking tape. Right? Now it doesn't really matter what color your masking tape is because the tape is just there for a little bit while we paint and then we're going to peel it off. So you will find in your bag lots of different colors of masking tape, but it really doesn't matter what color you get, all right? Now, I have, I happen to have some orange masking tape, and mine is pretty thick, it's pretty wide, so I cut that width in half in order to make it a little bit thinner, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to, all right? So this is what it's gonna look like before we paint. So I'm gonna do two today. This one I'm gonna set aside, and I'm gonna create another one that's brand new today. Well, since I've already created one horizontally, I'm gonna go vertically. So I'm gonna lay that right in front of me, and I want to decide what kind of tree to make. So if you've noticed, I've made kind of, they look like winter trees because they are free from leaves, or they are pine trees, and pine trees don't lose their their leaves in the winter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make this tape a little thinner, but you certainly do not need to do this part. I'm gonna cut in half just to make it the size that I want. All right, I'm going to put a tree with no leaves first. Stick that down, and it's important to make sure that the tape is really stuck it, stuck on there pretty well. All right now, I'm going to create my branches. There's a branch on this side. Stick it down. one's going off going off the side and that's okay I'm just gonna trim that little corner off it's okay. all right I want two more little ones right here so I'm gonna reuse this little piece now I want to tell you that some of your tape that you're gonna get is already this size after I've cut it in half but some is wider like mine but you can decide how you want yours to look. Okay, so I like that one. All right, I think I will make a pine tree next. I'm gonna make it big. And I'm not gonna cut this one in half. I'm just going to leave it just the way it is. So let's see, let's do, I'm gonna make it tall. We're ready to start our next step. My forests are created, and the next step is to actually paint. 
I think I will start with a nighttime forest and I have the blue and the purple and some purple glitter and I think I'll do the vertical uh, forest with these colors. So I'm going to open the paints and there's not a lot of paint in these little cups because you don't really need a lot of paint to do this. So I'm going to open each one. All right. Now, if I add some water to the paint, it's going to make it a little lighter colored. And if I use just the straight paint, it's going to be darker. So I think I'm going to dip my brush in the water and I want to squeeze a little bit of it out because my foam brush can hold a lot of water. And I'm going to first dip it in the kind of teal, greeny, blue color. And I'm just going to swipe over the, over the tape all the way across my paper. Now you have to make a decision. Do you want, do you want white to show at all? Or do you want to color it in so that it is a solid color? That's your choice. That's what makes you an artist. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little purple on top just to kind of mix those colors. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. Looks like a nighttime sky to me in the forest. type of paint is called tempera paint and it washes out really easily with soap and water. So the paint is getting on my table but I don't really have to worry about that. When I clean up it'll come right off. All right I'm gonna get my edges. I like it to be all filled in. Okay there we go. Now the fun part. We get to get out the glitter. So my glitter is kind of a pinkish purple color, but there are lots of different colors of glitter available in your bags. All right, I'm just going to sprinkle some glitter. Now keep in mind, we're going to we're going to take off that tape eventually. So don't put too much glitter on top of the tape. Kind of add it to the other areas. And the paint, while it's still wet, is going to hold that glitter down. Don't be afraid to use lots of glitter. That's what makes it pretty. Here we go, I kind of like that. Ooh, all right. I'm gonna let that one dry while I work on my other horizontal forest. Okay, so I'm going to move this one over. Okay, I'm going to move this one close to me. Now, I think that I'm going to use my other two colors of paint to show you what maybe a daytime glitter forest would look like. take just a, just a little bit. It might take a few minutes for that to dry. And then the last step is to pull the tape off very carefully so we can show the trees. So let's let those dry for just a little bit. Right? We've been waiting for our paint to dry and it's okay to just let it dry and go off and do something else. Let's see. You could do whatever your mom tells you to, or you could watch a quick video, or you could go do your chores, whatever you need to do, and then come back about 10 or 15 minutes later, and we are ready for the next step. 
So I did all of that and I am ready to do the next step in our glitter forest. So we need to take away the tape because underneath the tape, the paint was not able to soak in. So it's gonna be white, it's gonna look really pretty. But we have to be careful to make sure we don't rip the tape off too quickly because we don't wanna rip our paper. Right, so here we go, I'm gonna grab a corner. I'm gonna very carefully pull that tape off and leave that white area behind. Okay, there we go. Here it comes. Oh, it looks good. I think I'm gonna just take off one side at a time. Here we go. me a little bit of the trees that I saw yesterday and they were covered with snow. This almost looks like a snowy covered tree in the middle of night with the stars sparkling in the sky. That one's pretty. Right. Now for the second one. is removed and I kind of like the way they turned out. Let me show you the yellow one. That one was pretty too. I noticed that the glitter kind of filled in some of those spaces on the white and I kind of like the way that looks. It looks very pretty. Now, I hope your artwork is something that you are proud of when you are finished too. And if you would like to share it with us, we would love to see your creations. You could, leave, you could take a picture of your artwork and leave it in the comment section of Facebook and you could send it to our Eckhart Public Library Facebook page and we could enjoy your art too. Thanks for joining me today. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed making my glittery forest. Next week we'll have another project. And join me again for story time on Tuesday at 10 and 6 and also another art demonstration on Thursday at 10 a.m. Have a great week. See ya.